We're going to discuss about some purchase order reports by material group okay so this is a very important report that you will be using to determine what are the purchase orders related with material group so we'll just this is the transaction code if you check the transaction code is me2c so if you execute here and here we will see all the purchasing uh, purchase purchase order with the material group okay so if you scroll so here if you see if there is uh, this icon that means it has a PO history so if we double click on this okay and it will take you to the material or to the PO and here you will have the material group so L0002 so if we scroll to the right there would be something the material group this is the storage location Oops, material group, material group, where is it? So, L002, let me search from here. We can bring the icon back, okay? So, material group, material. So, here you can see, we do a search. There it is material group, so what I'll do is I'll just bring it up uh, so that you can see it. So, I'll just put it after the supplying part okay now you can see all these other material groups okay so here if you double click on this it doesn't take you any because material group is a property it's not a transaction but if I go here if I double click it will take me to the uh, let's see where it takes me it takes me to the business partner so this is a s4 HANA system that's why if you see the mk03 is obsolete and it redirects you to the bp transaction okay now here you will see other stuff like uh, you can see the stuff like document date and you have material number the material number is not filled here okay uh, so in order to see whether there is invoices or uh, uh, goods receipt associated so if you see there is this uh, goods receipt that is done and this is this invoice that has been done okay so if you click on this once we click on it it will take you to the goods receipt number okay and here you can see this is the goods receipt number and from here you will see this is the material group okay so the material group by if you want to see it's the 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 technical name is ek let me see it's probably group like f1 and you can see the material group is matkl okay and uh, so from here you will get the material group now here in the selection screen okay you can put different so here i put purchase organization if i execute here you can put other stuff this one is an x we can put with with material number and then you will have a bigger list okay so if we see now now we have more material number see and this now you have a bigger list okay so let's pick up one which has the material number populated okay so we'll just click on this where we have the material number populated let's see this is a material okay if I double click on it this takes me to the material okay and uh, let's see check in the purchase order where is the material number okay it will be in the line okay and the material group is here okay now there are other features that we can that we can see let's see uh, scroll to the right there you have the plant you have the quantity then we have the released value what more else we have okay we have the info, info record okay the purchase info record is something from where the price comes in okay so this is the purchase info record if you see now we'll just go to the right and this is the supplier so if you click on this it will take you to the supplier record and now here is the amount I want to make sure that we hit all the drill downs that we can be can be used so this is very useful with the material group suppose you want to check because it's for taxability and other stuffs now here you can check with the supplying plant you can put with material date you can put with the supplier plan we can check with the account category 
you can check with the delivery date and all those things so it's pretty useful and you can see and whenever you have this icon you have more selections that probably you can use okay so if you see there are other selections that probably you want to use you can put vendor number you can put payment terms you can put payment in so it's very nice so whenever you have this icon you have more fields that you can do okay you can check so this is pretty pretty nice and slick you can use this all the time and here you have purchase document item also so if you see we can put uh, let's see whether we can put something unique okay so so let's see we will say hmm, uh, the only problem with these things are you don't have so we will just put delivery completed indicator and we'll say we want to see anyone that has the delivery completed indicator set x here and we'll execute this okay and now if you see we'll just take this out purchase organization this and we'll make it x and we'll just execute okay and it will show whether uh the it really shows the ones that it has the delivery con uh, dci indicator set so if we go here if we so it will be in the invoice tab sorry and here if you see the where is the delivery control indicator dci dci no oh, it's not set so let's see uh -huh. let's put uh we go here didn't it get the delivery container indicator wait let's go so we'll go here we'll scroll down mm -hmm. scrolling down let's see let's see this is the problem here you have to search so much so what we'll do is just select a requisitioner and we'll say requisitioner is not populated okay and we'll just click execute and here if you see now it has a thing so in order to verify whether it works or not you can double click on it okay and if you scroll to the scroll to the left this is the requisition of it is populated okay so this is one now let's see we can do for another thing so what we'll do we'll click on this okay and now we can say suppose i think this is the item here yeah. so we'll, we'll say something net order denominator settlement info record goods receipt partial distributed indicator invoice receipt gr based <coughs> so let's see we can find some some field that we probably will use so let me see whether the find functionality works control f no that's the problem with this this particular feature is you cannot you don't have the find functionality so you have to go one by one to find something okay so let's try to find something okay final delivery okay let's select this one as uh, x i don't know whether we have something uh set like this so we'll try so and then we will just execute now and no suitable article so it's not there so let's go and select one deletion indicator suppose yeah. that would be easy i hope there would be some data with that and we'll put as x and we'll make this also blank and now we'll just select execute and we'll select this one and this will probably give me everything because that got um, refreshed so let's go again we'll go here and we'll put deletion indicator and we'll make it x or we'll, we we don't really know what would be the value so i'll put just or not equal to blank and so i'll execute and now it's spinning so when it's spinning it means it's trying to do something so we'll see whether there is an error see it brings up all the items that is marked for deletion so this is slick if you see again this didn't give me all the items that is marked for deletion so so it's uh, it's, it's 
either or so it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so this is these are some of the features that you can use for purchasing document for material group and you can always download it in an excel or local file and you can put check the delivery schedules and all those things from here okay so this is pretty nice and yeah, and you will be using it as a procurement professional